Today I'm going to show you the basics of stationing our POS 180 using our HDL 400 tablet. I have the screen on my side here to show you exactly what I'm pushing and what I'm seeing on my screen. We're going to see the main menu here. I'm going to go to stationing. I'm going to hit the green N on the upper left hand corner. And now I have a drawing on, the, on, on my tablet right now, as well as I have points on the ground. They're four foot on center, which is short, but this is just for a demo. So we're going to proceed. So I'm going to highlight CP5 right now with my finger. And I'm going to go ahead and put my prism pole directly over the point on the ground. I'm going to level it. Okay. Now I'm going to hit the triple triangle on the right side of the screen, which is our measure button. I'm going to let the total station measure this. Okay, and now I'm going to look over at CP6 as well as look on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and tap CP6 on the screen. It highlighted it, and now I'm going to walk over. I'm going to put it on the next point. Okay, and I want to make sure I have this level. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and push the triple triangle again on the right side of the screen. It's going to measure this point. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and push check because I only have two control points at this point. This is my deviation screen that you're seeing here. It's showing my northern, easting, and potentially height. Right now I'm an eighth of an inch off on my northing. It's a demo. That's okay with me. So I'm going to proceed to setting the height. I'm going to go on the right side of the screen where you see that up and down arrow in red. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to go to set manual height that's in the middle. Right now it says five foot reflector height. I'm going to look at my prism pole. It says five feet as well. And I'm just going to hit the measure button on the right hand side of the screen. Okay. And I'm going to push check. Now this is my deviation reported again with heights included. And that's the center of my tool right now from the ground. I like it. Eighth of an inch is okay. I'm going to hit check. And then now I'm going to hit the layout button in the middle of the screen. And as I now move my prism pole around, it's going to highlight the nearest point that I'm closest to and lead me to that as well as if I don't want to use that, I can go on this, these little boxes in the middle of the screen and I'm going to swipe the one on the right hand side down and say I want to lay out a line. I'm going to put line and it says select a line for reference on the bottom of the screen and say that I want to lay out this radius here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that radius. It selects it immediately for me and it actually leads me directly over that line that I need to be on so I can lay out perfectly and accurately. It's as easy as that. Thank you very much for watching.